Hey, what's going on guys? Mr. J here with another video today. I'm going to show you how to bypass Leiden High School's firewalls so you can visit any website on your Chromebook. It is a simple process to do as long as you follow my directions as I tell you. So the first thing we will need to do is go onto the right side of the Chromebook and we're going to open up this little port here where the USB and the little switch is at. What we're going to do with that switch is going to switch it to the right side which will enable us to have it in recovery mode. The switch will be kind of small so what I used was a pen to switch it to the right side and we'll put the Chromebook in recovery mode when we turn it on. What we're going to do now is go ahead and uh, turn on our Chromebook and this screen should pop up. Uh, you just go ahead and uh, press the space bar to begin recovery. And what this is going to do is uh, pull up another screen. It's going to come up with a, uh, you know, a computer with a green screen on it. So what we're going to do next is just go ahead and turn it off. Turn off the Chromebook and we're going to proceed with the next step. And so what we're going to do next is go ahead and go back to the right side of the Chromebook. Find that switch again and switch it to the left side. Uh, which will enable the Chromebook to boot back into normal. So what we're going to do next is just pretty much turn on the Chromebook again. And this time it should boot up back to normal, just how it used to be. And we're just going to go ahead and wait till it boots up everything. After it boots up, uh, your Chromebook is going to ask you for your preferred language and keyboard. And it's going to ask you to select a wireless network that would help you connect to the internet. So just go ahead and do that right now. And so after you do that, you're going to go ahead and click continue. And this will pop up if you're connecting to a public Wi-Fi, like a McDonald's Wi-Fi or something. Just click on the set if you're doing that. In my case, I'm going to do that right now. And it's going to go ahead and authenticate the wireless network. And this should pop up on your screen next. It's going to ask you to log in into your Google account. I will suggest logging in into your personal account instead of the one that the school gave you, just so the firewalls and all that stuff won't get into your Chromebook the first time you're setting it up, like right now. And then after you log in into your personal account, it's going to go ahead and let you pretty much have the information load up. The little circle thing is going to show up on your screen. All the information is booting up. And what's going to happen next is going to let you choose a picture to display on your accounts, pretty much on your Chromebook every time you turn it on. After you pick the picture, it's going to go ahead and say Chrome on the screen. All the web applications is booting up. You can see there Chrome is on the left corner there, along with other applications. When the Chromebook finishes booting up, this screen should come up on your uh, Chromebook you just go ahead and you can go and click on the X button on the right corner what we're gonna do next is open up Google Chrome and uh, we're gonna go ahead and try to access the Facebook website and as you can see here in just a moment the website did pull up Facebook did not have any trouble whatsoever the next website I'm going to show you is we're going to go ahead and try to access the Twitter website. And as you can see there, the Twitter website did load up with no problems whatsoever. And that's how you pretty much uh, turn off the firewalls that Light inputs on our Chromebooks. That's pretty much it for this video. If you found this helpful, you can give a like rating down below. For more videos like this, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one.